Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. So today I am going to talk about authentication in AWS. Uh, so I am using various services that are present in AWS. So as uh, you can see in the diagram, I am using a basic CRUD operation through Lambdas. So I have a DynamoDB and a basic table created in that. And there are four Lambdas which are uh, doing the basic CRUD operation. And these Lambdas are integrated with API Gateway. So um, we have all sort of authentication uh, implemented at the API Gateway level. And then this API Gateway is uh, passing on our request to the corresponding Lambdas. So we can use API Gateway to integrate with uh, the existing APIs uh, systems as well, where we have get post put delete request. But I wanted to do this with Lambda. So that's why uh, I'm doing it this way. And um, uh, again, okay, we have an, an Angular front end application which will interact with this API gateway. So that would be the basic application I'll be showing you all first. And then I'll be integrating this Angular front end and API gateway with Cognito. And I'll be showing you the entire setup. The prerequisite for this course is that uh, I have my DynamoDB and Lambda is created already because it is a very basic code that I can show and explain it to you. And uh, the API gateway setup and Cognito thing I'll be doing on the fly here in the video itself. Um, this video might be slightly longer. So if it is getting extended too much, then what I can do is what can, I can split it up. Um, it depends upon the length. So bear with me, guys. Um, OK, let's get started. So first of all, I'll show you the Lambda. So I have my Visual Studio open. So I have basic four Lambdas created, which are accepting the object of type employee. I can show you the put. So input I have employee as input, and this put is basically interacting with the DynamoDB and putting the request. This is will be called via API Gateway. Same way I have a get operation here. So I'm reading it from DynamoDB and, you know, it's a very basic operation because the focus was not the Lambda thing. But yes, um, I am interact interacting with uh, DynamoDB as well. So yeah, next is delete, basic, and function list. That's showing the list. I'll share the code in the description box of the channel. So yeah, this code, I have done the basic publish from here. And as you can see in my AWS, uh, if I search the lambdas, I have these four basic lambdas created. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gateway here. The gateway would be REST API. Uh, let me name it demo API. And it will be a regional gateway. So yeah, I have the gateway created. Now I have to create the resource here. So I'll be creating list to list all the employees. I'll be enabling course within it. So yes. And as you can see, uh, since I have enabled course, it has created an option, um, uh, an option request here, uh, where I can see an in integration response. It is supplying me the basic headers, uh, which are required when we are, uh, you know, enabling course in the system. So yes, we will not touch it. It is created by default. Just wanted to show. Now I'm going to create a get request here. This uh, I'm integrating to Lambda, and I'm going to mention my function list, which will give me the list. Now we have a trick here. If we have course enabled, then we need an header in the response. So uh, to get that header, um, uh, we will not do any changes on the Lambda side. We'll be doing the changes on the gateway side so that these headers get integrated with all the requests that are accessing this um, get, um, get request method. 
So I'll be adding a header here in response. So we need access control allow origin. That is this one. And its value we have to supply in integration response. So in integration response, we will have the header available only if we have had an edit in the um, response side. So yes, header is available here. We have to add access control allow origin stuff. Yeah. So yes, um, this we have to add in uh, all the requests wherever we are enabling course. So yeah, this is done. We have it ready. We can test it. OK, let me try to test it. Let's hope it works. Yeah, it's working. I'm getting the data from DynamoDB. As I can show you, these entries are present in the DynamoDB. And they're visible here. So yeah, we can, we're good. We can create the remaining uh, resources quickly. And I can enable course here. In employee, we can create methods. Get. Get is integrating function. Get. OK. So guys, in get, um, what we should be expecting is that we should be passing a ID of the user in query string. So we can supply the query string here. And in response, we have to add our access control allow origin. Okay, so um, yeah, we have supplied the query string, but we are not working with the actual API get method. That's the simple lambda, which is accepting an employee object as input. If I can show you the get request get lambda so um, the get lambda is accepting a simple string it's it is not bothered about get post sort of thing so we have to supply the query string parameter as a simple string to the lambda so that part we can do in integration request in integration request we have to write a mapping template it will be a basic thing so yeah we, we, we have to write a mapping template where we can add. When there is no templates defined, this option will we'll check this option. And we have to add a mapping template here. The type would be. And here we have to add a simple line. We are taking input and in params we have user ID, so we have to supply those params simple as a string so that um, our Lambda can accept it. Okay, and then let's save now to add the access control response here. We are done with the get request. Let's try to test it. Test. Yeah, we are getting the response from DynamoDB. So get is working fine. Let's create another method. Post. Yeah. Uh, so we have post in place. These are the lambda. Good. Yes. Okay. So we have our post request created, and we will be adding the access control allow origin header here.
in the post request and we'll be supplying this value in the integration request. Response, sorry. With this, we are done. We are done with post. Let's test it. So we have a sample request body, which is like this: the basic request body where we are sending the username. Let's change it. Let's change this, and let's keep the user. Okay, let's test it. It's working. You can check in DynamoDB that we have a user created with the user ID 290. Yeah, here it is. Okay, uh, there's a one last request that we'll be creating here. Let's do it and then we'll focus on the UV part. Create method. It should be delete, quite visible. And here it will delete. Will be the, yeah, will be integrating it with Lambda. Let's see. Same way in the request, we'll be sending the request parameter, query string parameter. And then response body will be adding over access controller log using header. And the integration request, let's update the mapping. Saved. Okay, one last thing that is left is the addition of the value to the access control now rigid header. Let's test it. We can okay. So we have our user deleted. We can check every time on TV. Uh, one last thing that I have to validate 
for my clarity as uh, see yeah this is it fine uh, next step the immediate next step after uh, creating the resources and the uh, request methods the methods in the sources is uh, to deploy the api yeah and to deploy we have to create a stage let me create it as delve and deploy this yes yeah uh, this is this is deployed now now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to access this api directly through my angular front-end application so i have a very basic front-end application where um, i'm uh, just displaying the list of users and doing some basic cloud operation on these users and these users are this uh, application will be interacting with the api gateway and ultimately with lambda and uh, dynamo dbsd downstream of um, the lambdas ultimately so yeah uh, let's change the base url here that's the only change which is required um, the code that you can see we have um, uh, let me let me pre-validate the resources employ and let's deploy so we we have to change it to list employ yes and yeah this is employ this is we're good i think i am hopeful that it should work so let's try it and see if it works or not. Let's check it. Oh, it's working. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Now um, I can see. Okay, if I enter. Uh, I can add a new employee actually. Um, let's, let's add some client ID. 555 test. Five five age can be fifteen and then submit it. Yeah, user is added. You see the list it is refreshed. We have five five five. Uh we can delete also try to I want to show this search part first. If we add the user ID search is also working and if we want to delete it, delete this also. Uh, it's a very basic application. I did not focus much on the UI part. My only um, intention was to show how these uh, this will uh, this UI will interact with the API gateway and ultimately with Lambda and uh, do the changes in the DynamoDB. So, uh, till now, we are done with the um, with the setup part where we have our front end application integrating with the gateway, interacting with the gateway. While recording, I'm realizing that the length of video is quite long. And uh, let's do one thing let's integrate with, uh, this. Uh, let's continue in the next video and integrate Cognito with this setup in the next video because that is also quite a part. And I don't want to extend the length of this video much. So, Goodbye as of now. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel if you like the video so that I can keep on posting this kind of interesting content. And see you in another part. Thank you. Bye bye.